Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day Gamers, and welcome. So today, we're taking a look at the latest update for Space Engineers. Now, this is a bit of a special one, and definitely worth covering. Now, in front of me, we've got three antennas, and today we're going to be looking at the new drone pirate function that they've added in. Now, these are automated drones that will come and attack you. Now, they work by being triggered by an antenna, and we'll see if we can trigger one now. So we're at the actual testing platform here that they've created, and you can download this for yourself if you want to see how these drones work. And all we're going to do is select all, and you'll notice there's a new faction that's been added, Space Pirate. So we tick that, and we select yes, so this will trigger space pirates to come and actually hunt me down. Now you can actually pick quite a lot of variables with these guys. You can see I'm getting shot up by that one down there and it's sending me off into the distance. So uh, these loads of them actually spawning in now. So these little drones are spawning in around that point. I'm sure you can actually describe the area where you want them to spawn. So if you want them to spawn inside an asteroid and come out and try to attack you and you can just see the amount of drones that are spawning in as well. You can spawn little or more and you can set all the variables for them. You can see how they're actually trying to chase me down now so coming across one of these pirate stations could be extremely dangerous you can just see all the bright white lights so let's actually have a look with spectator cam at these drones themselves if we can so let's actually have a look at some of these drones you can see that they're not small ships now i don't know if in the future that you'll be able to actually convert them into smaller ships but you can see they're a large ship with a gatling gun on the front now there's a few different variations of the key in the software house sort of drones you've got the double sort of ended blue ones but you can also make your own drones by following the same principles of these so we've got a red one down there just multiple different colors of very similar drones so it looks like we've got two or three different variations and they're all of the larger size now it would be interesting to also see what would happen if they were much larger so i'll switch back to my character and you can actually see they do try to pursue me and track me down so if i fly away in this direction you'll see that some of them do try to follow me around some of them are also defending the main point you can see that more are actually spawning in as well around that point and you can set spawn limitations and how many drones you want around that particular point so you can see these drones are trying to track me around and i'm in a massive sort of crossfire from loads of them so you can see it's going to be a really cool sort of priority to destroy these sort of drone spawning centers to actually be able to evade or take the loot from that pirate station. Now, I really want to talk about the danger of these drones. Now, as you can see, they've all left the starting platform that is over there and they've pursued the player. Now, this means if you're silly enough to lead them back to your base, you're going to have a really big situation of trouble and the amount of guns and firepower that could technically be spawned in is really dangerous so you're not going to want to lead these back to your base you don't want to try to escape evade them or even destroy them before getting anywhere back to your station or larger ship maybe your larger ship can actually fend off a few of these but still they are very dangerous little crafts now the next thing i want to show you is a new setting called collision avoidance so if we tick that box and you can see we've added two waypoints what we're going to do is simply start this autopilot, tick that box there, and you can see the autopilot's kicked in. It is flying towards that coordinate, and collision avoidance is on. So what should happen is it should avoid the red ship. You can see position number two is on the other side of the red ship. We're going to have to see exactly what happens. And it looks like at the moment it's flying straight towards that red ship, and that's possibly because Aaron didn't even actually press collision. Oh, I did, I did. Okay, so it's got to this position. Now, will it be able to navigate around it? If it does, that's a big step. But at the moment, it's not looking very promising. It looks rather confused. And in some of the previous tests I did on this, it really messed up. It just didn't know how to handle the situation. But if this does work, then you can trust your drones, I guess, to go around by themselves. But at the moment, no. And if it, if it takes any longer than the next minute or two, I don't think it's even worth using. You may as well just navigate around it manually. So there we go. That That is collision avoidance for you. So it's trying to calculate it. It's just really struggling by the look of it. So it's thrusted back up to that position. No. It, it let, let, well, after, I think I'm going to say it, collision avoidance at the moment is just not a really good feature. It's been added, but maybe in the future it will be updated and fixed. But that could also be because I'm in the way. So let me just stand back and see if it is actually my fault. That is getting confused. I'll use the spectator cam so we can get a little bit closer. No, no, not at all. So I'm just going to write this off as and needs a lot of work. Definitely. 
Now, another really cool factor that's actually been added is that cargo ships can now call for backup, and you're probably wondering how they do this. It works on the same way of the pirate stations. It uses the antenna, and it will call for more ships to support that vessel. In what form? That all depends on the cargo vessel itself, so it means you're going to have to destroy that antenna to stop it from calling in reinforcements. A really cool feature, and it's going to make them battles and then cargo ship takeovers even harder. Really cool. Now, I also thought it'd be rather important to have a look at the teaser trailer, and and some of the screenshots that they provided with this week's update. Now the teaser itself features a lone astronaut on a barren sort of snowy wasteland, it doesn't look like there's too much life going, but there is an atmosphere, there is clouds, there is a sky, and we can see that there's a little rover, and it's a really small object on this really large landscape by the look of it. As it pans back further, we see this red ship that has been crashed, and it's definitely had a significant sort of impact. You can see that the whole lower deck from the airlock down has been destroyed. And now this little craft was rather interesting. I was trying to work out, is this a player controlled object, or is this a drone that goes across the landscape scavenging for parts and maybe, maybe killing players I, I don't know it could be really cool depending on what they do with other little ai elements on these planets as you bump into them and what was really clear from the screenshots as well that it's not going to be one sort of type of planet with mixed biomes it looks like there's going to be a whole lot of variety now looking at this first screenshot we've got a deserty sort of hot planet looking rather cool we've got space engineer waving down to another and we've also got another mixture we've got a very green sort of traditional woodland looking planet we've also got a small ship here that's landed it looks really lovely to be honest off into the distance with all them trees now we've also got a snowy one but there's still clear sort of forms of life we've got trees growing in there and we've also got a ship that's coming out of an icy sort of mining tunnel below so the different planets may have different sorts of textures now we also move into the more barren sort of planets we've got a mars like environment with no sort of atmosphere at all by the look of it and you can see these are very orangey and i just really like the variety of different sorts of planets something that i was really worried about we've also got a more traditional sort of moony like planet You've got a planet there also in the background as a guy is either riding on an asteroid or something, but really cool. Anyway, I can't wait to see what they're going to do with the planets, and I will see you next time.